welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to be setting up a DHCP server. We will be doing it on Fedora 39, and this is a fresh install with updates applied. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is install the DHCP server package. So we'll do a DNF install DHCP server enter and we'll select Y and there we go. All right, our next step is to configure or update, update our, our config file for the DHCP server. And that's located in the Etsy DHCP directory. So let's go there. And we see a dhcpd.conf file. That will be the file that we, we edit. So let's do a vi, enter. And let's go ahead and arrow down to the bottom line and hit O and backspace one. And then we'll move down a couple lines. And our first entry is going to be D DNS update style. We'll do a tab and then we'll put in none. This uh, deals with updating the DNS server when IPs are assigned and all of that stuff, which we're not doing here. Our next step will be to set the default lease time. Tab. And that will be 600 seconds. So it's 10 minutes. And then we'll do max lease time. And we'll set that to something like 60,000, whatever. Oops. Sixty thousand. And then we'll move down a couple of lines and we'll begin creating our subnet. All right. Subnet. One nine two one six eight. In my case, one nine two one six eight one dot zero. If you have a ten dot ten network, then ten dot ten would be used in this section of of the uh, configuration. And let's see. Netmask two five five. Two five five two five five dot zero space and then we'll put in our brace. Let's go ahead and move down two lines. There's a space between the the entry we just created and uh, our next set of information. So let's go ahead and type in range. And let's say 150. And let's go ahead and do this properly. We'll put a tab in here so we have proper spacing. And then we'll do 192.168.1.200. And then a semicolon, enter, tab. So when an IP address is assigned to a system that connects to this DHCP server, it will be given an IP address between 150 and 200. So let's go ahead and do our next entry, which is router information. Option routers. And in my case, it would be 
1.1, semicolon, enter, tab, and then we'll enter the subnet mask. Five five two five five two five five dot zero, and then the semicolon. Enter, tab, and we'll enter the broadcast address. Broadcast address will be one nine two one six eight one two five five semicolon enter tab and then we will our final entry will be file name quote pixie linux dot zero and then closed quote semicolon enter and then we will put our closing Close, close brace on as our last entry. All right, so let's do an escape, colon, right quit, exclamation, save that file. And our next step will be to start the DHCP server. So let's do a system control, start DHCPD, and we'll hit enter. And let's do a status to see if there are any, any issues. And it appears to be running. Successfully, if you want to make it so this automatically starts up when the system starts up, you can do a enable be system control enable DHCPD and that will that will uh, set it so that it automatically starts up when the system reboots we can go ahead and do that just to see what it looks like all right so we can go back into status and we can see up here that the DHCPD service is enabled which makes it automatically start up when the system boots up. All right, so our next step is to use a, a test client to attempt to acquire an IP address from, from this DHCP server. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to clear this, and then I'm going to do a tail minus F and we will, we're going to tail the messages file so we can watch, watch uh, the activity as it's happening when we try to connect. So, so we can see our DHCP activity happening right now. So let's go ahead and uh, try to connect with our client. Okay, so this is our client that we're going to be using to connect to the DHCP server. First thing we need to do is go into the BIOS. This is the BIOS for this particular machine. And we'll go into the boot sequence. And we will make sure that our onboard NIC or network boot or whatever it's called for your BIOS is the first boot device. Once we've set that, we'll hit exit and the system will reboot. Give it a second to come back up. And its first step should be to attempt to acquire an IP address from DHCP. So there you go. And there you go. 151 is our IP address. And we've successfully 
connected to the DHCP server, so everything's functioning. This next step will just time out. So we'll go ahead and stop here and we'll go check our logs to see what, what took place on the server side. Okay, so on the client side, we, we saw that we connected successfully. And now on the server side, we see the activity here. that shows the client connecting to the server and the 151 IP address being assigned to to the to the uh, client so there you go there's a DHCP server there are probably many advanced configurations that you can use on this that we're not doing here this is just an initial making the DHCP server operational video. So feel free to test out any advanced options or whatever that are available with this if you want to or need to. And I think that's it. Uh, let's see. Again, subscribe, please. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. I should have uh, more, more, uh, more videos coming up in the future, in the near future. So stay tuned for those, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.